Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another mystery unboxing and today I have seven, seven, that's right, seven packages to unbox for you today. So this might be, well, most likely longer than most mystery unboxings. This is a big one. This is seven packages I got from LeapTrade.com, which is a website I've been using for the last about year at this point where you trade in your games, you get credit, and then you can use that credit to, you know, trade with other people for their games. And I've been doing that. I've gotten around, <clears throat> well, right now I have like 84 points, meaning that I've either bought 84 games or I've sold them, or a, a mixture of both. I think I've sold a good 15, maybe a little bit more, maybe 16, 17, maybe something like that. So I've, I've around almost 70 games I've bought from this uh, website. So... Almost, like maybe 65, 66, whatever. Um, so I've gotten a lot of games. Uh, just to, you know, fill out my collection for my Xbox 360, that's where I got a lot of the games from, uh, if you saw my Xbox 360 collection video. And now, I got a bunch of other games here. A lot that are Xbox 360. Got a couple here that aren't, but whatever. Anyway, let's open them. Also, I'm going to probably link this to the people that uh, sent me these uh, on LeapTrade.com. So if you're watching, thank you. Unless you send me a broken box and a disc that don't work, then to hell with you. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously. Don't fuck with me. I got connections. So anyway. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the first one. Go open this one. Again, I don't know. I know what they are. I just don't know which one's which. So, uh, yeah. Let's open it. This one was uh, put in an actual envelope. Uh, again, I won't show the address. Even though I don't think... Yeah, no, it doesn't even show their address. So it doesn't really matter. But I don't want to show mine, so... Alright, so this one's an envelope, like I said, so a little harder to open. Well, actually a little easier, just a little harder to open cleanly. Uh, and this one is, <laughs> oh, perfect. The perfect game. Uh, actually, I might say the user's name on here. Uh, the user, no, doesn't say. Well, anyway, you know who you are. So, thank you for this. This is Kung Fu Panda 2, the video game on Kinect. Uh, if you do not know, I'm going to do a Kinect special on my uh, Gore Plays account. Gore Plays, you can look it up. G-O-R Plays, I'm pretty sure you know how to spell plays. But um, I'm going to be doing a whole month of Kinect games. I think I'm going to do it this month coming up. So, April. Perfect time. April 1st, you know, I mean, the Kinect is a joke anyway, so... I've got so many Kinect games. I got at least 40 of them, which I mean has to be close to all of them. So here's another one to add to that pile. And I've already played this one. I haven't done a Gore Plays for it, but I, well, I don't think I'd have, at least <laughs> I might have. But uh, I have played it. It's not very good. But uh, anyway, it looks like it's in really good condition. Yeah, it is. It's like it's complete. Really good condition. The box is in good condition. And yeah, this is pretty much mint, except. That's a hair. Okay, I was about to say, look like a scratch, but no, it's in perfect condition. So, whoever sent me that, I can't remember your name. Uh, I looked it up before I did this, and now I can't remember. I should have probably had it up here, but you know who, who you are. Thank you. So, boom, first one done. All right, next, this one. This is a more traditional, not traditional, but more of what I expect from Leap Trade users. Not saying that was bad, obviously. The game, the game came perfectly, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, okay. Well, never mind. It's like taped on the side too. That's a little weird. Um. Oh, I see. Well. Okay. Well. Shit. All right. Open it from the side. Okay. This one is. Oh, okay. All right. This one is actually a game I'm kind of looking forward to playing, even though the fifth one is out now. And ooh, it's actually in really good condition. <clears throat> Not that I'm really surprised. Uh, uh, this is Tropico 4. I really like SimCity type games, and uh, I heard the Tropico series is actually really good. Uh, one of the better SimCity style uh, sim building, I mean, uh, city building games out there. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad to have this one. Uh, by the way, if I had to like say how much credit I used, I had around 150 credit, uh, and pretty much used all that. I, I traded in a couple games. I traded in, uh, or I... Yeah, I traded in. Uh, same thing. What did I trade in? I traded in. Uh, damn, I can't. I can't remember. Uh, the, oh, the crew. I traded that in. I traded a couple other games. I have a terrible memory. But anyway, I traded enough so that I can get 150. And I bought this. This was 1250 on the Leap Trade website. It's in pretty damn good condition. Uh, 
disc is in pretty much mint condition. These guys know how to keep care of their shit. Manuals there, everything, even the inserts looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you want to go get the first Templar, go ahead. It's out now. Don't get it. It's not good. <laughs> it's not, it's 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 a low budget game. All right. All right, there you go. So anyway, you know who you are. Whoever sent me that, I'll link this video in the uh I don't know. I'll just send you a, a link. Whatever. Anyway, next one, obviously. This one's a uh, more uh what are these uh type of what is, what, what is this type of paper called again? I don't I don't know. Fuck it. All right, another Xbox 360 game. This one is oh okay. This one is you know, I don't like this... Alright, this box is a little messed up, but that's okay. It's not that bad. But uh, I don't like this anime series, but I kind of like their video games. They're okay. So I was like, alright, this is 1250 It's relatively newer, and I don't have it in my collection. This is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. The longest fucking title I've ever read. But, um... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the box is a little a little broken there, a little chipped, which is is okay, as long as the game's okay. Uh, and the game is in great condition, pretty much mint, uh, and you got the manual, back when, uh, well, I guess what constitutes as a manual nowadays, but, um, yeah, in, in great condition, um, 1250, I heard these games are pretty fun for the most part, and, you know, just fell out my collection, so you know who you are who sent me that, thank you very much, alright, next one. The fourth one. The, the fourth. Yeah. The fourth one. Alright. This one opened really easily. Okay. This one doesn't have a case. Alright. This one is... <laughs> this is really silly. I don't even know why I got this. But uh, actually, this is from someone I know. This is Your Worst Daydreamer. Which I'm um, pretty sure he's a YouTuber. Uh, he he comments on my video sometimes. Uh, this one is the Chronicles of Narnia: Prince Caspian, which is in probably good condition. I don't know why he would play it. Yeah, it's in eh, light scratches, but whatever. That'll work. Not like I'll play it anyway. I was just filling out my collection, but uh, it didn't come with full, which is fine. Whatever. I'm not too picky. <clears throat> All right. So thank you, wor Your Worst Daydreamer. Uh, I guess it's a good game. It's not. It's actually, you know, I played it. It's a actually not too terrible. It tried so hard to be the Lord of the Rings movie games. It, it, it felt like it was trying so hard and it failed. But uh, it's not terrible. At least it tried something. Uh, at least it's not a fucking mini game collection. Okay, next one. And I already tell you I'm going to have a hard time with this one. Because <sighs> it's taped in all sides. Do I have a pair of scissors. Do I have at least a knife? I never have a knife. You know, this is where I usually do my unboxings nowadays, and I don't have a knife here to cut the some bitch open. Uh, you'd think I'd have a knife, but I don't. No. Screw it. I'll just rip through this tape. Alright. Alright. Oh, oh, wait. I found a weakness. I found a weakness. You can't... You can't stop me, package. I'll figure it out a way. I'll figure out a way. Oh shit, is this in brand new condition? What game is this? I think I got a brand new game. Oh shit, really? It's in it's it's wrapped. Thanks for the purchase. Enjoy. This is actually really awesome. It's, it's a it's a let me get the shadow away. This is a uh, factory sealed copy of The Bard's Tale, which I love this game. The Bard's Tale is a lot of fun, really funny, uh, but a lot of fun gameplay-wise. It's a really funny game, has great writing, and uh, I mean, the main character is voiced by Carrie Elway, so immediately I'm going to buy it. But uh, yeah, this is factory sealed. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's not really worth anything, probably not factory sealed, uh, but uh, yeah, it's really cool. I might not even open this, because I've played it so much and I have it on Steam. I just wanted a copy. I actually, you know what? I, I'm not going to be surprised if I already have a copy of this game. But I saw it on there and I was just like, eh, I might not. I could check. So anyway, uh, I should look up who sent me this. That was really cool. Uh, uh, if you're watching this, thank you. That was really cool. Factory sealed and everything. That's awesome. All right.
so that was really cool. Two more to go. Let's open the smaller one, which I know this what this one's going to be. I'm actually kind of lo looking forward to playing this one again. All right, make sure. Don't show my address. Okay. And the game I have here, oh, awesome. It's the edition I used to have, or the version, I should say. Back in the day, I used to play this game all the time, and I saw this was $12.50 on there, on Leap Trade, and I was like, you know what? I have to get it. This is Mega Man Battle Network 3 White Edition. This is the same version I used to have. I played this so much. So much when I was a kid. I actually love this game. And, and I know a lot of people don't really care for this series, even though it's gone on almost as long as the regular regular Mega Man games have. Like, I think there was like five or six of these ones, and then they went to like some other Battle Network version. You know how like, you know, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has like Yu-Gi-Oh 5D or whatever the fuck. Uh, <laughs> this had like some other thing. So, um, yeah, I used to love this game. I even used to... Uh, uh, like collect the toys and stuff. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there wasn't an like an anime before, right? I think I used to watch that, but I used to collect the toys and play these games a lot. Um, I still have a couple of those toys too. I don't know if they're even worth anything. Probably not. But um, anyway, that's really cool. Whoever sent me that in really con good condition. Uh, well, can't can't really make a Game Boy Advance game look really terrible unless you really tried. But thank you for sending that. I'm um, really looking forward to playing that. All right, so last game here. Uh, I know what this one is, actually. You know, after a little while, you're just like, oh, what other games do I have here? I know what this one is. It's not a big one, but I do remember. All right, the last one I have is a game I've actually been wanting to play. It's in great condition. Um, it's a game I've been wanting to play for a very long time. I love arcade style sports games, and this one looks like a lot of fun. This is the Bigs. The Bigs, uh, uh, this was seven fifty on Leap Trade. Uh, by the way, the Bard's Tale was five. Um, Tropico, I already said, was twelve fifty. Um, uh, Naruto was twelve fifty. Prince Caspian was five, and uh, I already said Mega Man was. What well, I don't think I did. Uh, Mega Man was twelve fifty. This was seven fifty. Um, so yeah, the Bigs, good game. I heard it was. Uh, I saw that they have the, the second one there. Uh, it's probably the same person that's selling this one. Because they both came went on like the Leap Trade sale section at the same time. So maybe I'll get that one too. Um, the disc was a little scratched, but not too bad. Like light scratches, so it won't even affect anything. But the disc, I mean the disc, the case is in great condition. So that's awesome. So anyway, let me show everything I got again. Should probably put these just on the desk right next to me. You think that'd probably make more sense, seeing that it's right here and the place I put these were all was all the way over there. But um, so let me put these side by side. No, this one you can't really tell. But um, yeah. So that was a good little haul right there. That probably cost me a whole Xbox One game. Uh. Well, five and it's twelve fifty. That's twenty five. That's thirty. That's forty two fifty. Yeah, actually, it's perfectly sixty right here. I think. Um, I probably did the math wrong. No, I did it right. Uh, with all this, this, and all these combined, that's sixty. So that was the crew right there. So I pretty much traded the crew for all these. Not bad, seeing that the crew was mediocre, and now I got a bunch of. Good, good to mediocre games, especially Kung Fu Panda. Actually, that that's terrible. But um, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for everybody. Thank you, thank you for everybody. <laughs> thank you for everybody. Thank you everybody on LeapTrade.com for sending me these in a relatively quick uh, fashion. They're all in really damn good condition for the most part. Uh, there's most likely going to be no problems. Even if there is, screw it. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Okay. So anyway. Thanks, and goodbye.